back to the high low jack. Caleb Crowder. So we're gonna try make to make a 50 yeah, shot. So. Yeah, oh. a little bit right. Prediction from her partner said she'd make right. it, but little right, little right. Josh asks if he makes a lefty. Is it 100 bucks? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. We can't afford Do that. We have to check first. Yeah. Are you a lefty? <laughs> <laughs> can't afford. He does have ping pong listed as one of his uh, accomplishments. Maybe a little Forrest Gump ambidextrous action. He's trying to up the ante here. He's trying to Caleb double Pierce down. Now it's Danny Mancer's turn. Saving us electricity though on lane three. Danny Mancer's favorite movie is Robin Hood Men in Tights. She likes those Men in Tights, Rob. Who doesn't? <laughs> Looking to find the head pin just left. Somebody hit a pin, I heard echoed in the, in the audience. <laughs> yeah, they don't know how hard this is. Oh, just missed. So oh, we don't have, have to reset. reset. Yeah. We'll leave it for the open bowlers later. Evan's turn. Well, if anybody's been hitting the head pin, it was Evan earlier. Evan's hobbies are all sports. There's the head pin. Little and I was going to say, he, he nailed it full at every time in the match. and That one was He doesn't know the meaning of hitting the head pin light. We'll see if that accuracy pays off. We can nail these one at a time here. Oh, boy. Oh, both at once. It'll be more impressive. It's getting a little more tricky now. Can he do it? Oh, he only gets one. So it's Josh Garrett's turn to see if he can reel in this shot. Why well, I just got this feeling. Now Josh's hidden talent is that he can snap a crayon with his hands. <laughs> he should have tried lefty. <laughs> yeah, you know, you don't see many people who can snap a crayon in half with their bare hands. This one. Oh, trying to do it a little unconventional. <laughs> doesn't have the oomph. For five extra dollars. I only have five extra dollars, so you can take my last gift card for the season. The first time the season he left just the 10, he wasn't able to get it. This time he oh, didn't either. We'll be back. So no luck in our high-low jack. Let's take a trip now in the gutter. I couldn't resist showing off this score sheet of a time where I smoked the shoe. And like me, our bullies were eager to brag about their big scores and the fun they were having on the lanes. Oh, I love it. I mean, my favorite part, obviously, is the chocolate for the strikes and stuff. <laughs> Haven't gotten a strike yet, but I will. There's string. I'm getting a strike just so I can get one of those Hershey bars. Trying to get those strikes, but just the pins. I only have, like, always one pin left, and I bow it right on the head pin. Or in the, the pockets. Encourage each other. We push each other, like, yeah. try to beat each other. Well, the people watching don't know what happens. It's what about Josh? Happens. Yeah. Just spare. Spare, spare, strike, spare. A couple of bad boxes and strike, another strike. I was throwing a good first ball and getting a lot of strikes, that's probably why. Amazing. It's pretty special. Yeah, <laughs> pretty special. All right. Worship the ground he walks on. What, what because do you it's real fun and uh, it's not really a lot of money and you get to play for a good amount of time. In the Gutter is brought to you by Oddball Sporting Goods, your premier online source for candle pin and duck pin bowling equipment. Novelty balls and bags, the stuff the pros use, Oddball's got you covered. That's oddballsportinggoods.com, and tell them Shoe sent you. Welcome back to Candlepin for Kids. I'm here with our runners-up, Kayla Curto and Evan Riva. We will start with Kayla. How are you feeling up there? Um, I was a little nervous, but for the most part, good. You looked a little uncomfortable up there. Was there anything going wrong, or was it just the nerves getting you? I think it was just the nerves getting me. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's tough under those lights. There is a lot of pressure with it, but I thought you dealt with it well. Yeah, I tried. Had fun. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Um, you've been on our show before, correct? I've tried though, but I have never made it. Never made it. Yeah. So it's definitely tricky that first time, but yeah. I think you're the. Think we'll see you back. This is my last event because I'm all done. I'm too old now. Well, we do have the team event in May, which yeah. you'll have another shot to make. Will we see you there? Probably, yeah. Well, you've tried out a lot of times for our show. We've really enjoyed it. What is it that's kept you coming back to Candlepin for Kids? Just the excitement and everybody giving a round of applause and everyone just having a good time together. It's an exhilarating feeling. I couldn't agree with you more, having been in the lands, too. So thank you very much for joining us today, and thank congratulations. You. Now talk to Evan. Evan, your first time, too, on yep. Candlepin for Kids. What was it like up there? Uh, I was nervous. I kept hitting the head pin straight on, so wasn't getting good first ball, but tried. And I mean, you can't ask to do much more than just hit the head pin. Was it frustrating up there for you? Yeah, it was, but sometimes you have your good days, you have your bad days. I mean, I was throwing pretty good in practice, but... Even in the game, you are throwing a good ball. When you got those spread eagles, what's your mindset when that happens? 
just try to get as many pins as you can. I was hoping you'd say that because you sure were doing a good job at it. You nearly converted several of them, so you're giving it a big run. You came all the way from Bangor. Was the trip worth it for you? Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Well, we thank you very much for coming. We hope you had a good time, and we'd love to see you again. You're only 15, and you're in this older age group. You've only been bowling for three years, correct? Yeah, that's true. So, how has your bowling come along over these years? Uh, pretty good. I started out all right. My average was like an 85, and then it started to progress and gotten better. We've seen a lot of improvement from you lately, and I think we'll continue to. So thank you very much for thank joining you. us today. Kayla as well. Thank you very much. Dan, take us away. Thank you, Rob. I'm here with our champs, Dan Manser, Danny Manser, and Joshua Yaritz. Joshua, your bowling really took a turn for the better about two years ago. Tell us about that. What, what really turned the corner for you? I just started practicing a lot more over the summer, trying to get better, like slowing myself down, working on accuracy more. Stuff like that. Yeah. And it, it, did that all, was there one particular event that you feel it all turned around in? Uh, probably the state tournament. Do you have a, a bowling philosophy? Like, what, what's, your, uh, what's your philosophy when you go up there bowling? Try at the head pin first ball all the time. Basically it. <laughs> you know, and um, tell us a little bit about yourself as well. Do you have other hobbies other than bowling? Uh, ping pong, baseball, basketball. Ping pong. Does that have anything to do with why you offered to bowl the last shot uh, left-handed if we double the prize money for it? No, I broke my wrist before, so I had to bowl lefty to get in the league. So, so you were like a pool league. shark. You were trying to, to, to you know, get the, get some extra money out of the show, huh? Hustle us? Yeah, but I was just joking. <laughs> what do you think about your partner? Were you happy to see Danny? I mean, you're very familiar with her. You guys have bowled not necessarily in the same home house, but you've seen her a lot. Yeah, she's a good bowler. Happy I got her. You looking forward to going to Pilgrim for the championship show at your home house? Yeah. Think that'll be enough to push you over the edge and allow you to rise up the ladder and win it? Most likely, yeah. How about you, Danny? How did you like having him for a partner? He's great. He just hits the head pin and doesn't care what happens after it. <laughs> Is that also similar to the way you look at bowling as well? Um, kind of, but... My first rule is smiling. I like to smile no matter what, even if I'm getting 70s, so. <laughs> we talked about that over here. I don't know, Jonathan Boudreaux's giving you a scowl there. <laughs> Jonathan hates the fact that I smile. <laughs> you can't please everyone, but obviously you've done a good job. You hit a high score qualifying here today. Was, uh, you in a groove all day long today? Uh, kind of. My second game kind of went down and it kind of annoyed me, so I wanted to bowl better my last one. Certainly made it work. Um, you like Pilgrim where our championships are usually held? Oh yeah. <laughs> Big fan of there. So you guys both would have a good chance and you're obviously both great bowlers and you're bowling in a house that, uh, going back to a house that you're very familiar with and you like. Um, anything else you'd like to say before I turn it over to Rob? Anybody you want to say hi to at home or? Nope. Are you? Nope. Back to you, Rob. <laughs> great transition, Dan. We've got some great matchups. I learned from the best. <laughs> We've got some great matchups lined up in our Tournament of Champions. It'll be Danny Manser and Josh Yaritz versus Kylie Josefiak and Alex Hazard. And then the winner will go on to bowl against Amanda Banks and Aaron Belanger. That's, that's some three good teams there. That's God, right. He lost to him last time, he's saying. So So perhaps the storyline there is Josh sees if he can get some into revenge. He's got one match to win before that. But he's got the same season. Josh taking the same mindset as the Patriots. Second time around has to be better. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from a person who walks in with a Jets jacket. Well, thank you very much for joining us on Candlepin for Kids. We had a lot of fun in Portsmouth. We hope you had as much fun watching us. Make sure you join us for our championship event. That's April 15th at Pilgrim Lanes. All the best bowlers in the game will be there, and we would love to see you there too to watch it. Alongside Dan Gothier, on behalf of our entire volunteer staff, thanks for joining us on Candlepin for Kids. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. We're here with Austin La Plans. Help him cut. Yeah, you're fine. You're okay. Fine. Valentine's Day. What happened on Valentine's Day? Hung out with my lady. Good. Last time I got 81 out of my score, and now I got 82. Very nice. One of my highest scores. Oh, height. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. Anything you guys want me to ask you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mally goes open-ended open question. question. <laughs> yeah, no yeses and noes, huh? <laughs>